Okay, it looks like we are live. So welcome back. Today I'm going to be continuing to work on Kano script. Mm -hmm. Okay. My bitrate is not working at all. Hang on. Kind of dead. Uh, what's going on? Okay, uh, hopefully it's fine. So, <clears throat> basically the plan for today. Um, I'm not going to be adding any new features. I'm just going to be basically cleaning things up, you know. Um, moving some stuff into separate files. Trying to get some stuff working. Things like that, right? Make a source, right? A source folder, and I'm gonna move the uh, main.c and v.h into source. And then, uh, so these are just the test ones, that's fine. The build line is over here, so we're gonna have to modify it now. Um, yeah, basically, I'll replace it with a make file, or whatever, but uh, not yet. First main.c, and then we'll just put it into build main. It's not bad, right? There's Uh, okay. And that seems to work. And we have main in here. And it so it all works. I uh, was going to move this main. And we'll move this uh, Kano.Kano and Kano.Pasm. Uh, we don't need to move any of that stuff because we can just build it, right? Uh, remove Kano.Pasm. Kano, Kano. And okay, now it's a bit cleaner looking. Um, at least in the file structure, right? So yeah, we can still uh, compile everything. We have. Uh, Ignore. Let's remove uh, Kano script slash build everything in there. Just building it. Build, build directly itself. I think I can do that. Okay. Um. And then what else? That should be fine, right? So uh, we're going to ignore the directory. Uh, that's not right. Okay. Um. That should get. And then we should be able to. I uh, would kind of have to do this now. Has them. And then run it. And this actually, I didn't show what this is. So if we go to Kano, that Kano, um, it's Fibonacci, right? So I implemented it, and then just exit with exits with the Fibonacci number. So if we do uh, ten, that one's pretty easy. I think it's uh, fifty-five, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we can run that. File the whole thing. Uh, and then fifty-five. There we go. Um, yeah. So I just that's since there's no way to output numbers other than exiting with it currently. Um, that's sort of the best way to go back to it, right? Um, yeah, but that's pretty cool. So that works. Uh, I did have to tweak some stuff around to get it working, like with the uh, scope and whatnot, um, which I'll go over that. And then also, um, I did some stuff with the memory in the virtual machine, so I'll go over that as well um, soon. Of course, I want to clean some things out. So let's go to the source, and let's just... I want to make uh, two new files, right? So we need uh, backend and frontend, right? So frontend is like, let's like parser. Yo, Tim, how you doing? And then back in is like generating stuff, right? So I want those. And let's see, let's see. So I should be able to let me try something actually. So with the um with this, I should be able to go here then. Paste that there. Yeah, okay, that's pretty cool. Uh that's definitely gonna be helpful. Uh ooh. okay, that's the thing. So apparently when you are in visual mode, that happens. We're good. I am good as well. Okay, yeah, so it's high weighted now. Um, okay, let's see. I don't think that matters very much. So let me not see. Yeah, so I just want to grab like grab some stuff and figure out what goes with, you know? Um so I'll leave these macros here. Um but I'm probably gonna put them into like a, a header file, right? Um let's see. Basically I mean sorry, that can stay here. Uh this is for lexing. So we'll take that and then the parsing stuff, we'll take all of that as well. I'll move them all into the file. I probably should go in the header file actually. What are you doing? I'm just kind of moving stuff around so that it's a bit easier to work with, you know? Um, instead of just being all in one file, I'm going to try to clean up some of the code and maybe work on error handling and stuff as well. Mm, yeah, so no new features to it. Functions. Mm, okay. Yeah, these are the nodes, so that still is, right? Block stack, and then, okay, so that can stay here. I think these blocks stay here. So grab that, and then let's go to, um, let me actually, front end, actually, front end dot h. Let's open that one. Uh, okay, we don't have it, I guess. There we go. Let's head to refresh. And there we go, so we're pasting everything. 
Um, yes, that's like the header file stuff. So let's add a thing here. So find um an h, then define it. Then an if let's add a comment here. An h. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we can do that. Um and we should be able to then copy the functions over as well. Mm, to to the C file and then I'll create the header file out of that. So let's go to frame that's actually and let's um include H. Okay. Let's spell that wrong. Okay, there we go. Um yeah. Let's see, let's see. Mm, okay, that should be all of these. So I can actually delete them now. So scroll down. Uh, da, da, da. let's see, to, to the block, yeah, the block's right there, so that might be too much stuff, but we do add that, so it's, uh, it's fine, um, let's see, so yeah, now we have, so most of the stuff is there, and then the rest of the stuff is for the generator stuff, mm, so we need this stuff, this stays in the main IC, though, mm, we can grab this, we need this as well, Pretty much most of these, um, except once we get to the stuff that starts with J. Mm, okay, print expression. Yes, that's J. So I can, I think there's more stuff down there though as well. Like that. And we'll go to, let's see. Let's see here. Okay. Let's see? Mm, okay. Yeah, so I can get rid of this now. Okay. Right there. All right. And then, this is the gen stuff. Uh, it's my own, yeah. Uh, here I have a... Right here, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. It is my own, but it's not much different because... You know. Uh, there is some problems with it, though. I need to work on it. But yes, it is this. Mm, okay, it's pretty simple though. It's not as as much as much as so these. Parser, yeah. So I need this. Parser expert one. Okay, and then that blocks that for the generator. Ah, oh, shoot, did I not save it? Shoot. Okay. Ah, uh, I forgot about that, actually. And you have to save it. So, I can grab it from... See, I saved the main IC. After deleting all this stuff. I did. Okay, so let me just grab it from here. Then. It's not in source. My bad. My bad. Uh, let's go back to this, and then I'm going to grab the... The, fi the functions, because we should the header file should be fine, right? Yeah, right, so that's fine. <clears throat> it comes with simplicity, yes. Um, okay, yeah, so I need this, starting here. Right to there, okay. Uh, shoot, that's going to be harder to copy. We need them for that, because, um, then it works a lot better. And then dot C. Like the uh, copy itself. From the clipboard. Okay. There we go. Now I'll, now I'll go back to it. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Okay. Um. Yeah. So that should be good there. Now that is safe. We're good fact. And then. Okay. And I can get rid of these now. Okay, and now this is the rest of it should be back and stuff. So it adds this, right? Uh shoot, no, this is more parsing. Wait, why did I not grab this? Dang. Okay, so I guess this is parsing. It's parsing as well. Okay, I didn't realize that. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's take that. And we'll go to here. 
Looks like Casey did twice. Alright. Uh, that should be good. Uh, some of the stuff is shared between them, so anything that's in all of them, then I will move into a a header file that can be shared among all of them. Okay, and we have this, get func. So this is all generating stuff now. Yeah, so we have gen expert and stuff like that. So pretty much all of it. I'll leave the macros here. And this, and the dynamics too. This stuff. And all go into the backend headers. Let me actually create that file. Backend.h. <laughs> well, so hang on, I'll start with uh, this stuff. Mm. To do this. Alright. And if. H. Uh, okay, for STB style libraries or something, it's just so tiny how you can get this. Yeah, I know, for real, it's so good. Oops, uh, if not define H. Setting up like regular libraries is just uh, so much of a hassle, you know? It's just, uh, it's real nuts. Okay, and this we'll put into the C file. Okay, that should be the end. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you will include um save that. Make sure I yeah, so we're good with that. Um and we can do that. <coughs> 20 different build tools and other stuff. Uh yeah, yeah, for real, for real. Mm, okay. I mean even like um no, 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 yeah, one second. Like, <clears throat> this, like, uh, you probably heard of it, it's like mini audio, whatever. Uh, it's in Rayler, but it's a header only file, right? But it's like a hundred thousand lines, and I think it's just it's, it's kind of fun, you know? Uh, yeah, how many? Yeah, it's 3.8 megabytes of a text file. That's so cool. Uh, yes. Okay, so we need to import all of this. Mm, so, H and, and no, back in. Okay, and then these things I will move into a, a depth style. Right? All these macros and stuff. And this function as well. Mm, okay, and then I'm gonna, yeah, so we can also move all the imports in here, you mean? Since we're including all of them, and I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, we got H in. We only use the V.H in the back end, so we can just leave that there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna grab it because it's uh, just easier that way. Let's save it now. Right, so, yeah, we get rid of some of this extra stuff that I got. So, maybe it's right. Yeah. Okay, something like that. And we will save that. Go back here. We all of these actually. And then, feed deaths.h. Okay, and also the other ones. Feed uh, back Oops. Right 
the beginning, I suppose. And then, is that going to compile it? Probably. Guys, yes, we have unknown stuff, string view, so we need to actually import that. I forgot. So, hashtag define, uh, view implementation, and hashtag include, view dot Okay. Hmm. Pretty changed such a large file, but I would consider the Nerdy libraries to, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> that's like the most exaggerated example, probably. Mm, yeah, but a lot of libraries also can be broken up into separate things as well, right? So, like, they can still all be header only, but then it's for each thing that you need, you know? If that makes any sense. If you get what I mean, redefinition. Shoot. So. Oh, shoot. Actually, I forgot something. Whoops. Um, then define it. Mm. Okay, I'm going to type it. So yeah, we need to uh, share some stuff. Obviously it won't work for, um, for every library, but a lot of them I think can be, could be header on. <laughs> Okay. Hmm, yeah, so we don't have, so we need to, what do we need basically? Ah, uh, so generate, we do implicit generation, we may not see, so why is... Oh yeah, but we did not define them in the actual, so we need to grab, grab each one. Hmm. Yeah, it needs to basically do all of the definitions. Is that in? Okay. And get rid of all this. All that code. Why did it only copy the parts? Oh shoot, can I copy these over already? Do I have block. Okay. Um yeah, this can be defined up at the top. I don't know why they are not. Okay. Okay. This can stay in the actual uh, C file. I'll probably uh, also group them together based on based on their purpose. But for now, I'm just gonna create the create the prototypes. Did it work? Oh shoot, you know what? I actually forgot about that. Uh, let me see if I have it. I think it failed again, because I forgot about it again. Uh, but I can install it. Mm, yeah, it needs to reinstall. Okay, yeah. I'm going to leave it uh, open, because before I minimize the window, the uh, yeah, window, and then it. I it, but now I can see it, so, so I do not forget it.
Uh, yeah. Then, okay. Usage, yeah. So, did I delete the usage? It's in two guys. I just deleted it. Oh, shoot. Why did I put it in here? Oh, uh, that's not where it goes. I can just go in here because that's the only place I have to go. Yeah, use it. At least for now. Uh, da -da. So then, yeah, we need to. It's a lot less stuff there than I. Okay, because I can't skip this fit. Uh, yeah, so I need to. Character, what is this? Okay. Hmm. I can't insert a new character there for some reason. And then it gave us that weird error. Yeah, so I said to delete that. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, something with can't. I'll need to look into that. All need to do with the copy paste. Probably copied a null terminated character. And then, well, I don't know why it would read it though. I don't know. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so we have some issues with those, but first I'm gonna create the uh, function prototypes. Let's do that actually. Backend dot h. Okay. I can do, no, I can't do that actually. Yeah, I need to add that. Okay, let me skip one. I did. No, it this should go in the header file or the C file. I'll just leave it in the C file. It's a lot of short functions here. Alright, um, yeah, a few more. Okay. Um, so that should fix the generate. Did I not? Let's see. Why is that? I include it in here. Oh, because we don't, uh, we put it in. So it's not going to, yes, yeah, so we need to uh, just, let's do this. Yeah, let me get a lot more of these, but that is fine. So, yes, yeah, so we have some things that are used between both of them. And I need to get through those. So what is this? I'll type name program. Wait. This, uh, okay. Is that not in the header file? Did I move it in for this one? Okay. And do I use that in here? I do. Okay, so that is something that needs to be in both of them. So I suppose I think the blocks as well. What is this? All this stuff I will put into this shared one. Yeah.
Thank Rainly, uh, takes takes a minute. Takes a minute. Okay, let's see. Chain program. Okay, is that not? You have that here. Does exist. Um, so it is the state as well, the program state. Um, what is that? We have that. Um, we don't have very good things. Yeah, so we need those from the from here, All right? Completely butchered that variables. <laughs> okay, I think functions as well. All this stuff. Do I not include that? Oh. Let's put it there, right? Oh, I just put it in. Uh, which we have to review. We tried to build. Okay. Okay. All right, it is going up. It's building. String view, and that's in the back end. So we need string view in both of them. Uh, yay, fetches the new game. Yeah, it should, right? Hey, how's it going? Hey, hey, uh, what is up? Going good here? How are you? How are you? Yeah, so nodes, uh, but that's fine. So we can move the nodes and the type stuff and the export stuff. All right. Uh, is shooting language its own thing, or is it just built into the editor? Um, so it's going to be its own separate thing in a similar way that Lua works or whatever, but then it's going to be integrated into the editor. And I want to make it so it's like integratable into any C program. So like you can call um, C code from it and stuff like that. Uh, that's sort of the goal of it. But I'm going to build it as its own thing first and then, you know, integrate it into the editor once it's quote unquote complete. I'll see code from it, yeah. But if we do that now, uh, I can show how. So in the um in the virtual machine for it, because it's um has a virtual machine in the same way that uh the JVM works. Oh we can call these natives, right? That's a native. Which basically is just um it's C code, right? So I can show what code right? okay. Maybe, yeah, right here. So basically, um, there's a lot of them here that I'm not going to use um, and get rid of them. But basically, like we call um, F right from C and stuff like that. I want to make it so you can load these. Um, so if you just pass your C function to this, then it will load it essentially. That is sort of a goal. Mm, it's going to be a bit limited because you have to work with function pointers and such. But I'm going to try to make it you know, as dynamic as possible. Need this as well.
Um, okay. I don't think we need this. Oh, at least not yet. So we have the tokens, that's fine. We need, yes, yeah, so we need all this expression stuff. So including all of this. Yes, yeah, so all these operators and stuff. A lot of this stuff is used in there. Expert. Okay, so we'll grab those. I think that should be all that we need for now. Okay. Let's see what else one is. <clears throat> Probably make the Raylib download faster by including Raylib in your repo rather than as a sub. Yeah, that could work. Uh, hmm. That probably would be a good idea. <clears throat> or something of the sort. Watch me nodes. I have this on now. Shoot, so I need to actually make that. Hmm, I see. Bump this up to like the top. Oh, sorry, close to the top. Okay. Mm, okay, so nodes. <coughs> mm, so we need to move the node stuff over. Okay. That makes sense, because uh, pretty much all the poison stuff actually probably needs to be moved over. Uh, because that's used in both the back end and the front. So, yeah, that's probably good. Idea. I'll just grab them all. All this stuff. And put it in the depths. Okay. Let's see it, right? All right. Okay. That probably makes sense to do. <clears throat> and then, all right. So that takes a lot of things. Arguments of type int. Hmm. Okay. Right, so just like the bottom. Variable, variable, variables. Hmm, because we use it before it is. Oh, maybe we don't. No? Hmm. Okay, why is it knit one? Why is it not like that? Is that not working? Right here. Uh, okay, I actually finished. I uh, know it is actually compiled. All right, all right, good. Mm, okay, install and okay, it is done. So Wait, how do I run it? Yeah, how do I uh, run it now? And then I install it. So I install it with that. Um, what is it? If I can look from here. So I know what it is. Wait. Should come up, right? Maybe not. Okay. 
Okay, I'll have to search in here. I don't know what it's called. Hand, did I spell it wrong? Oh, stator. That's my name. Okay, I see. Ah, uh, yes, arms. Uh, apparently I'm dyslexic or something. Uh, okay, so I need a file. Yeah, how did the files look here? I had the files actually, so. Stator. Mm. Yeah, so stator. Nice, nice. Very cool. Can I minimize these? Yeah, there we go. That's bad. Nice, nice. <clears throat> okay, let's try another one. Yes, it did. It seems to have worked. Yeah, that's nice. Cool, very cool. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. Made up. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is not like that. Why does it say this? Maybe not. Uh, let's see. Uh, da -da. Okay. So in title types, so it thinks it's a an in pointer. So somewhere, let's let's go to the definition of the node, right? And that's before the nodes are actually defined, so that's not good. So we have all the nodes up here, so... How is it uh, laid out before, up here? Mm, let's see, so we had the variables, right? Variables on 280, and then we had... The nodes were above that. Mm. Yes, yeah, so we had all that node stuff above that. I think I can move these down. Down here below the node. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it knows, but it is int, so that is that. Mm, yes, yeah, so the program needs to go down as well. Probably these two. Well, hang on. String view, block type. That's all I'll probably find. We have block type here. Maybe not. Okay, so can all go at the bottom. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Alright. Okay, I'm not typing black type. There is black type. Don't have that. Um, so I guess we need to copy that from the front end. Hey, how's it going? Uh, it's going good. How are you? How are you? Welcome, welcome. Black type. I know that it Where's the black type defined? Oh, jeez. Okay. Ah, okay. uh, yeah, this can go in the depths as well. Okay.
All right, and then we set collision of parts. Uh huh. So an array blocks pointer. Huh. It's the same thing. What's your setup, by the way? <clears throat> um, you know, I have show well, that's, that's all the all the stuff. Assume that's what you meant. Okay. Distance to get to me. Get out of here. Mm, data and something about structure or you. Okay. Mm, so, what are we passing there? No. What is no? Was it uh two twenty-three? Uh okay. Num is the hamster. Okay, and that is oh shoot, did I just did I put that? Did I just get rid of it? Mm, I think I might have. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, there's also a man there. And that's that's most of the important stuff. Mm. Nice. Okay, but it is. Why did I do that? Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess I just got rid of it somehow. Okay. Oops. And we can just put it in. That uh, almost would. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now we have some of this stuff. Um. First, find here. Uh huh. I might not be right. All right, so that's going to be out. Is it? And this is the side page. Okay, so it isn't like that. If I include it multiple times, that could be good. Okay, uh, it's that I had this. Uh, do you handle multiple buffers or is that opening slash closing buffer? Yeah, it's just one single buffer. So basically, like, um, uh, removes old one and like replaces it. Uh, we don't have multiple yet. Um, eventually, though. Eventually.
it, and we can look at it. So, what's the definition of that? Mm, okay. First to find here. Okay, doesn't like this. Yeah, so all the functions that are defined in there, right? Okay, let me, uh, okay. Let me actually, uh, all these arrays, I don't want them in here anyway. Sorry, no, no. Okay, and then just. What is this? This is in depth.h. Oh shoot, because we have printed air. C code full of well, there's not really that many macros. Uh, we have like so these macros, um, yeah, like that's pretty common, like for constants. And then this is just some helpful, helpful things so that uh, it's not something that could be really abstracted away into a function necessarily, uh, at least not very easily. Um, yeah, I mean, that's fair. Kind of over time, build out your own standard library that like this is sort of like an equivalent of that you know like this uh this is just a handy way to assert uh without actually like it's not actually certain and it's more uh useful because you can actually print messages and stuff and this is for like uh dynamic arrays that kind of thing and this isn't something you could do with a function in c because it's not like generics or whatever so this doesn't matter the data type as long as the struct is laid out the same and this is just uh because I didn't want to like I you could do this with a function as well, and I probably will eventually. Mm, it's just faster to do it like this. But that's it's not really that many macros, you know. But that is fair. Uh actually it can be a function. Yeah, I, it's just like it's easier to do it through a macro. Uh, but it, you can use uh, variadic arguments in functions in C. So like, uh, C V A Y. That's what it's called. Something like that. Um, yeah, this will probably give a good thing. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's harder, like, to loop over it and such. But you can actually get it. Yeah, like this. This is just a bit uh, easier to do. Like this. <coughs> mm, yeah.
Yeah, but that's this one could be. Uh, these other ones won't work as well. Uh, as in, so no types. Yes, I don't have the no types. So mm. okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. To each his own, right? I can not see. So I need to put that in there. So But do I not have it at all anymore? I was ready though. Chat of a sewing replay? I watched it there, so yeah, yeah. I am in sewing chat quite often. Uh, what is it? I get rid of it. Mm, let's see. I have it in here still. So no yes. Alright, I guess I do not have it anywhere else then. So just, um, check it. Yeah. Uh huh, let me still get this. Tell them to press the stator like two times faster by having a lightweight ray lube version. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try, try installing it again. See, well, it should update on the gate, right? Like, uh, for Kano, it does. Let me see, I'm gonna see if it is faster. Okay. Back next to show. It's going. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's done. So that was uh, that was a lot of that. Later. Then I have to look at this command line tool. Whatever. Yes, that was much better. Much better. Everything with the source directory. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So none of it was needed. No, no extra stuff. Why is there multiple definitions of it? I had to compile it all into object files separately. Try. Oops. It didn't exist here. Go here. So what can I do? I'll um, choose right in on C. How do you do it? I don't know. <coughs> I'm not very good at compilers. Uh, dash C, yeah. Okay, not at all. Uh, how do you find make files or CMake for building? Both are very arcane to me. CMake for C++ for now. 
Uh, might just write a Python library. Mm. Uh, yeah, I mean, make files are fun. Uh, it's just confusing to me. Because I, I haven't really learned make, so... Mm, I don't know. I don't like to think about building too much. Something that is interesting, though, is, uh, no, no build. Uh, it might, might be interesting. Let's see, did that create them? Okay, I need to actually create the out directory though. I'll make a uh, variable fix it right Wait. So, let's do that. And then, how do you link with this? Do you just. Let's do this actually. Right? So, all right, so just like that. See, I put them in the wrong folder, it seems. Well, no. I did not. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then compile that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. C dash C source slash A dot C slash. I'll add the uh, flags later as well. Uh, not to be made final once, copy it everywhere. Yeah, that is fair. That's probably a good idea, actually. Not that good. Okay. I've never really used CMake. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I haven't really looked into build tools very much at all. Don't search file or directory. Do it after. What if I had to comment? Is that a comment? That's a comment. Yeah. So you have that. And what if I do this now? <laughs> yeah, so it still is the same issue. That does work. I'll worry about that later. I'll be back later. Okay. Yeah, it's linker errors. Um, yeah, it's like the definition of these files that are included. It's getting included multiple times, so I'm trying to figure that out. So, well, here. I can make that image. You're actually back with that piece. Okay. Oh, shoot, the issue with that. Yeah, I can that. Okay. I just have to pick. This needs to be a source. It's actually build. Which I'll probably make a different folder for it to the object files. But yeah. Then it'll work. Okay. So, let's find here. 
front and back. Oh. So, mm, so can't we just have one file that we include like that? Okay, yep, we have that in here. We did that so we have a file, right? Okay. If I did no implementation lesson, so I have it in here. I have it in here. No. I don't have it in multiple files. I guess it's in C. It's not. It's probably because I include uh, uh, H. I include it in the back end, not H and the other one. That's going to give me some errors. To include all that stuff. Yeah, I don't have the notes. I include, um, Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, but then I get the error when I include it everywhere. Mm, yeah, because I have to include them here, right? So I can... That's how it was, right? And I find it in here, right? Then, oh, that's what I'm then in here, you know, I can include... That's not H. And in here as well. Do that, here it is. And yeah, I still get the same thing. So hang on, what if I I do that? Um mm. 
let's see back in that page Say so, oh, whoops. Uh okay, that's about it. Yeah. Uh yeah, that's it. So I'm going to yeah, probably gonna open that. You can go too low and then if you try to open that that's fine. That's fine. Um yeah. Um I don't understand. Uh, uh, see, to file that only includes the defined implementation, and including that in my compile. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Like a whole code file or a header file? Oh, okay. Alright. Like this? And compile it like this. How do you do that? So how do we include it? Uh, made a progress for that. Okay, it's probably pretty simple to fix, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. One line. Uh. Ta -ta. Okay. Yeah. I see. 
Okay. I'm gonna just merge it because I'm pretty sure it works. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> I'll make sure it works fine. Okay. Okay, uh, yes, update it. So, what else? Run it again. Perfect, perfect. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Nice. Oh, yeah, same thing. So let me, um, let's see. Why to find it twice? Oh shoot! Ah, uh, yeah, that was probably from the copy paste. Ah, uh, thank you. I was not even paying attention. Yeah, that was fixed still, but yeah. yeah. Thank you for pointing that out. Make sure actually that uh, shoot, yeah, there's a uh, no. yes. GitHub in it's open source. It's awesome. Very awesome. I get rid of that. Hang on. Okay. Um. So, hey, there's something I was going to do, but I don't remember that. Right. It's like those are not the final times. Um, Okay. How it's called. Cool. Ah, uh, some of them. Some of them I did, yes. Uh, here, I don't even remember. Let's see, what are all of the emails that we have? Um, yeah. Actually, all the ones on here, I think, are, except the LOL one. And obviously the Vim one. Yeah, yes I did. Like the the gopher one, Topher. Uh that was just me drawing drawing trying to go gopher. <clears throat> Not a very good artist in case. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, You have header guards? Yeah. Why beats? Uh, it's not fine, it's fine. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And since uh, header only, we do if that here. You, uh... Okay, um... and all the head of mine.
Uh, yeah, I think there's the... There's like a, uh, in the actual STD. Let's see. I don't remember where it is. I think there's like documentation on how it works. In nothings. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, but I don't remember if it was in here. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. Yeah, so... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other than that, um... Create a tent. Uh, okay, I think that's where I had the issue, right? Um, okay. Our final section. Right, is it defined wrong? So this is just, uh, this is the view. Yes, that's fine. If I um mm. Do that here, right? And then find it later. Does that make sense? No. Okay. Um. All right, let me look at an example of this. Right, so... then oh shoot mm. no that's not good yeah cool And Brave. Uh, Brave is based on Chromium. That's like the, the biggest difference, probably.
Sí. Okay, now just with the view. Um Okay, what if uh
Yeah, it says, uh, yeah. Link to errors can be, uh, frustrating. Fine, it's fine. What's this? Oh shoot, uh, that's not right. Mm -hmm. So, doing this wrong. Zip up the button, like, uh, I push them to the GitHub. Yeah, yeah and then it's, uh, it's up here. What? Oh, yeah, that's gone. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's there. Probably super obvious. I'm just, I'm just taking it stupid anyway. Make a port. All right, all right. Let me know if you figure it out. Okay.
Okay. Let me take a quick break and then I will come back to this. Ah, uh, yeah, three more minutes. I'll be right back. I am back. So, let's see. Um, right, right, right. So, both of these include depths that age, right? We don't really want to do that. So yet unknown. Mm. What if I... Hang on. Okay, um... So, I think, um, okay, so basically, what if I move it into a, I don't break the thing, right, but get rid of this and put the implementation in a C file, and then include, yeah, include the header file, that makes sense. And then you know, link with it inside. Then go here. 
right here. So it doesn't, oh yeah, because now I need to do that. Okay, then we still get the multiple bit condition, but if I Okay, so I can maybe change a Well, it, what's the, which one is it? Declare or define? I don't remember. H. <coughs> it's front end of it, but both those include deaths. So, what can I, how, do you, how do you do that? Um,
So, don't you need to Is that the issue that I was including it twice? Okay. How long was I doing that? Okay, well that compiles then. I'm trying to hit um like object files. So see um
but okay. Okay, okay. Then Okay, I got it with him. Yes, 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 yes. Main, uh, what was the issue? Um, okay, well, there was a few issues. So basically, like in the build.sh, one of the things I was doing was, I don't know, him. Was I, I don't think I was doing that here because it was different. I was including one of the files twice. Um, it was, yeah, so. It's not there. This is the wrong thing. Hang on. Let me see if it was when I pushed it. Because that wasn't the main issue, but Yeah, okay, so it wasn't wasn't here. I was including the view file twice here. Then what I did was um this was the main issue. So oops, I have it. Let's see, um actually I have it over here. Um, let's see, so I include the dev side agent here, and I include it in all of them, but then in the in that age, I define this here, so it only includes it the one time. Uh, so like it continues into this back end. So we can include it here, um, and then as it's compiling, it will work, but then when it's linking, it will not include that twice. And that was really the main thing that I fixed. Yeah, that's what it was. So I can push that, and then it will work. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, that was a bit confusing, but okay. So, yes, yes, I actually wrote it. So, in here, really works out. Yes, I'm very glad. It only took uh, many hours. Two hours, two hours to do it. Okay, we have that then. So, now they are in, in their own files, right? That is cool. I'm actually going to have to go soon. Uh, let's see. So this is the main not now. Then yeah, we can call all that. And then yeah, H. So we had that. We don't have. We don't have to about that. Okay. I also had to move these out of the front end header file. That was one of the problems as well. One of the issues. Mm, okay. That's actually probably all. Of them. Hey, what is up? It's going good. How are you? How are you? Just fixed a very confusing linker issue, so I'm very happy, very happy about that. A lot of stuff here, actually. Okay, um, let's see. Yes, okay. So, Enough, gee, that is good. So this is yeah. This works. Um, this works. That's cool. Uh, making a project you intend to develop in the future. A scripting language. That is something that you want to work on. Cool, cool. <coughs> yes, very cool. So you have some ideas for it. Have you made any languages before? Yeah. It's gonna be really slow. Yeah, it might actually break. Let's try 20. That's already a lot. Okay. And, uh, that right? Oh, shoot. It can only exit with so large. Is that going to even work? 
but we can modify it to make it work. So instead of this, we can do and print. I'm going to print it now. Yeah, 6765. So let me look at the fib numbers here. Uh, done parsing a lot before, but there are many scripting images, especially in a low level range. Uh, describe your infinite love to C and assembly. Yes, <clears throat> me, me too, actually. Uh, yeah, I like to write everything in mostly C. I've not done enough assembly, I would love to, though. Uh, have you made any other kinds of languages, or you just you haven't made any language thus far? Mm, oh, yes, and thank you for following. Okay, I want to see all of the numbers. Okay, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 19, 20, 67, 65. And that is correct. Okay, so that did actually work. It actually was quite fast. Let's try, let's try a larger one. 550. Not like, it's going to take a second. See if it can actually get there though. Uh, my from nice to make spirals? Uh, yeah, no, that's totally fun. I was planning on doing that. I'm just not familiar enough with it that I had to, like, Google around and stuff. So I would do it off stream. But yeah, I mean, if you, if you don't mind doing that, then that would be extremely helpful. Interpreted strongly type and faster than Python. And also work. Yes, that is, uh, that's a good thing for Linux to have. So yeah, mine my, my scripting language is it is statically typed. So I mean it's kind of border borderline not a scripting language, but um yeah, not a fan of dynamically typed languages, but yeah. <clears throat> hmm. So something similar to Lua kind of, is what you are thinking, of. right? Like that's what is Lua fast in Python actually? I don't know. Yeah, that's very fast. So 30, so that's 10 more than this. So 2, 23, 24, 25, 23. Let's see the next one. Hmm. Uh, syntax spider from C, C and Kotlin. Nice, nice. I haven't used Kotlin, actually. Kotlin. Oh, uh, that could be interesting. It has, like, uh, some functional stuff, right? So are you going to, like, build a virtual machine for the language and it will compile to the bytecode of it as it's interpreting? Or are you going to, like, do, interpret it from the AST? Or how, how are you thinking about doing that? Howdy, lunatic, how you doing? How's your day? Let's see what's going on. Okay, uh, yeah. I have something here. Should be. The exit, so actually, there it should. Okay, it's not. So, what is that? Oh, no, mm. yeah, duplicate. Oh, yeah, because we duplicate. So that makes sense, actually. That's fine. Oh, fine. I am fine as well. Mm, spent the last two hours working on a linker error, so that was fun. That was fun indeed. Okay. Mm -mm. <laughs> So, yeah, that was really all of, that I wanted to do. So now it's uh, it's not one just one big file anymore. So that's cool. That's cool. Um, yes, 
and turn into working now. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, interpret the AC generated from the source code rather than making virtual machines. Uh, okay, one thing I'm not sure about is implementing its garbage collection. Never implemented algorithms like Martin Sweet, but it seems easy. Okay, yeah, I, I don't know about garbage collection. I haven't looked into it that much. And to buy a laptop, options are endless and I'm stuck. Let me help you out. Um, let's see, hey, let me look it up a little bit. And I'll, I'll, I'll pull up a good one for you and you can, it'll be perfect. Uh, give me a minute. Gotta find it. Perfect, perfect. Uh, there is a link to the to it. This this one right here. <clears throat> and you have a core two duo. Who needs more than that? Uh, only for Android development, but you like its flexibility. Nice, nice. Have you used a uh, Scala? That's a uh, JPM as well, right? Similar to Kotlin, if I'm not mistaken. Mm, that's more functional, I think. Though. Like, mostly functional. Ancient, no, it's not that old. Come on, come on. Best laptop, best laptop. I kind of got everything done that I need to do. Mm, so I suppose the next stream would be arrays. Probably we'll implement those. And then we can do a lot more stuff. So we can make strings, right? Define them as variables and modify them. Uh, row zero lines of code, okay. Yes, red nipple, the best part, the best part. All ancient PCs are running Arch. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the ones that uh, Arch users use. Because before the... Um, See, I can pull it up again. No, no, no. It was before, before that was the Intel i 3s or whatever. Um, it was before that, so you can install. I think it's called like Libre Boot or whatever, for the bootloader, like the BIOS for the BIOS. I don't forget. I don't remember. Yeah, so you can replace the BIOS uh, firmware with Libre Boot, and then it can be purely, uh, purely free, free software. No, uh, no proprietary software at all. So that's why that's why a lot of Arch users and such use those because you can do that. And I'm pretty sure there's open source drivers as well, so you don't need any proprietary drivers either. Uh, shelves one one one. Follow. Thank you. One 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 eleven. 111, whatever you want to say. So, uh, change how the memory works in the virtual machine. Uh, so, it's still a work in progress. I got to see how how practical it is. But basically, before I had it, it was just one di um, one dynamic array. Uh, it was this, basically. It was this. Um, and you could append to that. And the only way to remove from it was to like basically pop like a stack. So, you couldn't just remove pointers that were in the middle. Uh, and then like, you could technically do that and then shift it over, but then all the pointers get outdated and stuff, so that doesn't really work. Because we need to keep track of the pointers, uh, like, the for arrays and such, right? So now, what I'm doing, I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Basically, it's now a linked list, um, which each one stores one of these. So then, whenever you make a new allocation, it will allocate the amount that you need, um, the amount that you need. So, like, say you allocate a string, like, hello world. Then it'll allocate the 14 bytes or whatever it is to the memory and then insert it to the linked list and we'll do that each time you allocate a new thing and then to free it it just iterates over all of them and then compares the pointers i can actually show how that works compares the pointers to see if they are the same and then if they are then it frees it so um yeah that's basically i'll update to work like that because then that way you don't have to worry about pointers becoming invalidated and stuff it does use a lot of extra memory so i don't know about that it might be kind of slow on a cheap laptop with good screen quality and long battery life, only 
but there's no in between. Either they are too too shitey or too overpowered. Yeah. <laughs> the hardest part is probably long battery life. Mm, yeah. I don't know. I can't really recommend any laptops because I don't really use them. I have one uh one old like 12 year old MacBook and that is it. And I don't use it very much. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure. I thought it was kind of expensive too. Uh, ancient PC, but never have my salt rifle drivers. GeForce GT 240. 100% support them. Debian kills the bootlegger after it's all in mint to the new detective. Haven't tried Arsenal Linux. Um, <coughs> really? I'm pretty sure there's, there's gotta be some drivers for it. Like, it's old enough that open source drivers probably exist, right? Uh, I mean, I have not, I have a, an older GPU, not a super old one, but, like, over 10 years. Uh, but it's AMD, so I didn't really even have to deal with that. Let's see. Here's that. What's this? Hmm. Arm for Windows machines. Hmm. Interesting. I've not used any ARM, any ARM stuff. Uh, what does this do? Have you tried this? Okay, unusual. Mm -hmm. Okay, determine the necessary driver. Uh huh. G4 is my handle with uh, GT240. Like this. GT240. Linux. Wait, is it 64 bit? Search. MacBooks are crazy. Uh, Mac OS, <clears throat> yeah, and you can't really, mm, you still can't install, like Linux still doesn't work very well on those either, right? GT240, yeah. Is this the right thing? That's what I picked, right? Yeah, GT240. Will this not, this doesn't work, right? This one? Hmm. Can you use like a virtual machine though on the M1 MacBooks for like Windows or Linux or whatever? Like it might be a little slower, but you know. Uh, let's see, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce your name, so I'll just say Flux Follow. Thank you. Excuse me, it doesn't work no matter how hard I try. Hmm. Doesn't get compiled. I don't know. So, yeah, it's not really something I can test. Mm, let's see. It might be something with the uh, display. Uh, loading graphics safe mod? Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't really have any experience with that. Not in, no. I'm just looking at. It. Uh, it's not. It is not mine. It's not mine. Nvidia moment for real. Mine is an AMD AMD one, so I have had no issues. Kind of annoying though. I'm saying it with zero, but then.
Looks like that works. So it frees it all. It allocates it. Zero allocates. Uh, frees it all. That's very cool. Very cool. Whoops. Mm, okay. Yeah. So we basically have everything in place to allocate arrays. Uh, so like uh, strings are arrays, right? That's what we allocate. But we can also allocate like um. See, I think we do alloc. And that takes a few arguments. We need to push um push the size. Then it. In fact, it's Windows itself. Yeah. All right, have a good one. Take. Have a good one. So what what arguments does it take? Okay, I guess that was it. So that allocates that would allocate eight bytes. So like we just need to do um, push the uh, size right. So for allocating an uh, integer, it's going to be sixty four bit. And we push the size and then we multiply right. So that would allocate uh, 64, 64 bytes. Mm, right, so eight, 64, and then, <clears throat> yeah, 64 bytes, and then we could write, write data to it, you know, using write, so if I compile this, I'm pretty sure it's all words. yeah, okay, and then we can write data to it, so let me look at how to do that again. Whoops, this is the wrong one. It's not right. Hmm. Not right. There we go. Okay, I mean, uh, so we have to write. Right. And that pops the size and then the data to write here. So, and. Hmm. How does this work? Oh, okay, we pop the pointer. So the data is. It can be anything. Okay, yeah. So then we can write to that. So let me try that. I'm pretty sure it should work. So, so we can do is um, we need to push. Let's see. So first we push the size. So right. So we want to write age. So we're going to write an integer. And then we want to push the data. So we'll just push um, push 64. That would be the integer, right? And then we need, uh, we need the pointer. Let's see, where's it gonna be in the sex? So we allocate it and then we have this. So it's um zero one two. So it's uh you two. Then we'll still have it to free and such. Right, right. And then <coughs> once again, so I should write to it if I did not make any mistakes. Uh it in. Okay. Actually that has to be on the stack, so I did it the wrong way around. So, yeah, like that. Well, like, yes, yeah, so you need the pointer actually on the bottom. So, this can do a zero. Okay. Yeah, I completely got that backwards. That should be it. Okay, so it did actually wrote to it. Should have wrote the data. So we can read from it because we still have the pointer. So we need the size that we're going to read and then the pointer data. And that's going to push the push it on the top of the stack. What is this? Why don't we do it as Okay. Um, so then, yeah, then we can read from it. <coughs> so if we, um, still have the point. So the point is going to be on the top of the set. And we need to push the size to read. So push, push 8, read, and we can print it. And it should be 64. Mm -hmm. 64. Okay, perfect. So that works. Uh, so basically, this is the uh, this one. <coughs> so it's of sixty-four. Basically, is what that is. And this is 
Then how it is it? Then we are uh, deep object. Let's do PPR fix. PPR fix. And then push R six point six plus size. Size two right. Mm, which is yeah, wait, see, no no, this is the data, correct. You need to see uh hadn't figured out how much properly include dependencies. Develop an open source application that uses a graphics library. Uh, Kotlin, you just have a jar file. <clears throat> mm, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's all good. Yeah, yeah. I, I understand. So, well, let's see. So, I can use, like, Raylib as an example. Mm, that's like a library, right? So, Raylib. So, what you'll do is, in your, you know, in your C or whatever file, in your C file, you're going to include Raylib.h. You have to install it. Like, you have to install it using, like, a package manager or um, something like that. However you do it on Windows, Raylib. And then when you build it, like you build the file, let's see, then you have to link with Raylib. So you do L Raylib. And there might be a few other things, actually, I think it sits here. They have to link with, right? Something like that. You link, link with Raylib. So like L is, you're linking with it. And then the name of the package, it has to be installed, obviously. And then you can call that. Um, and then you can have the output file. And that's not going to work because, yeah, there's no name. Let's see. Can do that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so that's sort of like what you would do. And you just need to figure out for each of your libraries. Like, um, it depends on certain ones that you use, but Raylib is a good, it's a simpler example. That's usually what it's going to look like. You're going to link with it in the while you're compiling, and you include the header file um, in your C file. Let's see. All right. Right. Push it. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I think it's pretty clear. Mm -hmm. And actually, that's not right. It's. it's okay. <clears throat> yeah. I actually do have to go in just a moment. So make sure it's still there. Uh, yes. Okay. So that's how we how we do that with the rows. So basically, we just do this over and over again. So um, this is the data to write, and then you write to it. Um, actually, yeah. And then if you want to um, right, if you want to do this, you do it again. What you do is you push one. So this is gonna be the index, right? So actually, you do push zero here, and then you would add, right? I think that should work. So you can add to it, and that would be the index, right? So it's the index as well. Add and you can push uh, 1.8 stuff like that. You can get the index by doing pointer with it. Right, 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 right. I might have messed it up actually. So in each zero, it's one add. So right messed up, hang on. Push that, right. Hmm. Which one expected the point? Oh shoot, that made it. And then we need to cast it to a point. I have that. No. Let's do it here as well. Okay, there we go. So that was the issue. Um, ooh, I think quite work. Did it? Did not write the data properly. Hmm. Oh shoot! Because I did it wrong. If I upload my project to help, how would other users guess the dependencies without compiling? I see a simple solution: writing a dependencies paragraph in the. Yeah, you can do that. I mean, that's usually what I do. 
And then also, like, you have your build script or make file or whatever it is, and that's going to sort of say the dependencies, right? Like, you know, you usually have a variable for that or whatever for all the, de the dependency files, things, if that makes any sense. But yeah, you can just include in the make file and that's a, or in the readme, and that's usually a pretty easy way to do that. So I'll do this before we end. There we go. Okay, yeah, because we need to have the proper offset. Yes, no problem. And let's see, push. Sorry. Four, and then five. Okay. That is how we would do uh, okay, stuff. We should be able to do that here as well. So if we right, and then we push uh, let's see, push one. So this will be in there. Actually, index and then push eight, which is size. I can actually use the um, even use the what's it called? Reprocess for this, but you know, like uh, kind of finer or whatever. Let's the apply, then add, then cast it to a pointer, and that should allow us to read the next one. One twenty-eight, and that is what it was, right? One twenty-eight, yes. Okay, so yeah, that's basically how how we'll have a rate. So this uh, it's a bit complicated, and there might be something I could do for like syntactic sugar to make it a bit cleaner looking. But that's sort of how it's gonna look. So I could do like a define, right? Fine. It's actually it's like this. Fine. Um. Uh, let's see. We need six four something like that, and we'll just make that eight. So we could put that here instead. Four. So anywhere we do this. Six four. Six four. Whoops. That should expand to the same thing. I don't know. Like, assuming every process still works. Maybe not. Okay. Mm. What assembly is this? Uh, this is my own custom assembly for bytecode. Like, so I made a virtual machine, um, which has certain instructions, and then I wrote an assembly which compiles into the bytecode. And then I'm building a scripting language which compiles into the assembly, which then assembles into the bytecode. So yeah, it's like a custom assembly that I made for bytecode, not for not for machine code. Oh, why is that not working? Because of that. There you go. Okay. And then let's still look. Okay, yeah. So that makes it already a little bit nicer at least. It's very fun, very fun. <clears throat> Trying to build a whole ecosystem, like minimal dependency and stuff. So I have my text editor that I made. Uh that is this that I'm using right now. It's called Kano. And then I have <clears throat> the scripting language that I'm building which I'll be able to use that as a language. Uh, yeah, and then I'm going to integrate it into the text editor to, like, configure it and stuff. Mm, yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Mm, okay. I need a better way to do this. Like, maybe um, we'll, we'll add, we add, add it as a pointer, if that makes any sense. Because mm, we can cast it, but it's not super nice. But yeah, this is what it's going to look like. Or array, right? <clears throat> so we would push. Um, this is the size size of the data type. So in this case, it's in sixty four. Then we push. Uh, we push the number of bytes that we're gonna write. It's actually, uh, yeah, it's from scratch. I mean, I use so I have one dependency, and that's uh, in curses. and then also like C and library and math and stuff, but. Yeah, so anchors is the dependency. I can show it. Uh, I have. So here it is. This is uh even open up the git if you want to take a look at that. Oh uh, but yeah, so minimal dependency. So we have you know GCC make and curses. Mm, yeah, I made it entirely from scratch. With some help from other people. Uh but yeah, so it is let's see, it's quite a few lines of code actually. 
Okay, so 1500 in the main file. Uh, what is this? Yeah, and then 300 here. So it's like somewhere around 4,000 lines of code, maybe 5,000, something like that. Um, yes. <laughs> it looks a lot like Vim because it's heavily inspired by Vim, but I didn't fork it. Uh, you rock. Thank you. <laughs> mm, very fun, though. And yeah, so basically, what I the problem I have right now is there's not a good way to configure it. So I made like a little scripting language I can show it here. Like, um, just a seem like this. Oh, actually, maybe I don't have anything there. Um, I have a few different ways to configure it, but it's not really like a universal way, and it's not very good either. So I decided, uh, I made this virtual machine, it was a few months ago. So I thought I'll make a scripting language, compile it to that, and then integrate it with the text editor, similar to like NeoVim with Lua. Something like that. Mm, yeah, so that's sort of what I've been working on the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's going to take a while, though, because I haven't really made a full language before. I made a simple one a while ago. Uh, but yeah, this is the more most complex one that I'm working with. Yeah, that's pretty much it, though. Mm, and I'm not sure what else. Like, I guess the thing that makes the most sense to make next is probably... Probably an operating system, right? Just make, you know, just like Temple OS. Okay, there you go. Okay, so yeah, push this, and that is sets the size and the number of bytes. It's in 64, right? That's how much you allocate. So we're allocating an array here, basically, and it'll be zero initialized. Uh, why well, you would not bit Lua? Yes. <clears throat> uh, yes. I thought about thought about doing that, but I kind of like minimal dependencies, and also I like doing things for fun. So, I also considered WebAssembly, which would have been a bigger task, but it would have ended up being pretty cool, you know? Like, if you could, you could use any language that compiles to WebAssembly to configure the text editor. Uh, but yeah, that sounded like a lot of work, and also, you know, uh, it's not as fun, right? Not as fun as making your own. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I think that makes sense. So that's probably going to be it, the next stream. Docker virtual machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like QEMU. QEMU. Uh, I don't remember how to pronounce it exactly. Uh, but yeah, usually like when you're developing it, you would launch it with this, right? Operating system's pretty hard to make one, especially one that's useful, so probably won't actually do that. Except maybe like a little toy operating system, but... That thing, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'll mess around with some toy stuff, but not like a serious operating system that could really be used. Because there's just so much that goes into that now. Like, if you want to, want to be able to use the internet, you have to have all these things. You want to be able to use certain devices, you have to have the drivers for it, all that stuff. You know? So maybe, like, a more self-contained one can port um, some of my software that I've made to it. So you could use it maybe for, like, any code or whatever, but not for not for day-to-day -day use and stuff, you know? Mm. Yeah, that could be fun. That's a bit down the line. Okay, yeah, I think I had to come up there, so I do have to go. So, yeah, I'm gonna just. Uh, actually, I don't know if I'll be there. Yeah, okay, there's actually not anything there because I, it's in the git ignore file. So, uh, yeah, so that is about it. Let me close all these thousands of tabs. Mm, yeah, so thank you for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.